Hi, it's Bill Hong here. I haven't been doing a review for a while. It has been more than a year. And I have been looking up digital piano, digital keyboard. And I thought maybe just make a video before I forget everything. The thing is, I used to have a piano that I bought more than 10 years ago. And I've been moving. I moved from California to London and I didn't ship my piano. Now I wanted to use a piano and I don't have one. I like my last piano very much. It had a lot of everything I want and you can put headphone in, it had MIDI input output, it had LED light, it had a lot of pillow songs and everything. And that's why I have been shipping it before and still and I still want something like that and so I was going and looking for something similar and I found something quite interesting so since it was a, a Yamaha piano so I went for the Yamaha website first so uh, oh by the way uh, before actually uh, I was looking at a Yamaha uh, piano but I actually got this one because it's cheaper I was thinking I can maybe find my old keyboard and ship it here so anyway I bought this cheaper one from um, M Audio and it's called Kiwik 49 it's basically a USB based keyboard that uh, connected to in my case a Mac Mini so I tried it on both Mac and uh, Windows and on, on Mac you don't have to install driver for it and you will say uh, driver already supported and you basically can go into GarageBand and you can make songs in it and, and then it will work but the problem with this is actually the, the sound is not good enough for me and and there's another problem is when I have a PC and I connect it to a display like this I have to turn the volume to all the way to a hundred versus when I watch like TV or play, play video game is like 15 to 10 so the volume is very annoying and apart from that I I couldn't get the velocity, they call it velocity, but basically the pressure sensitive part uh, to work correctly. I want to turn it off. Like, if you press it harder, it's louder, and you soft, then it, 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 it will be soft. But I couldn't turn it off for some reason. And I couldn't turn it off in both uh, Mac and Windows. And on Windows, you have some dri other drivers issue. All in all, it's just not very good. And also, for example, like, there's some trigger point that you have to hit them it will sound and and it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel um, as good as my uh, old piano so I'm up for something else and so here then I went to basically the Yamaha website they are um, pretty interesting they do I was looking for like kind of digital keyboard like this them two caught my interest was the portable keyboard and the portable grand it's basically it's portable keyboard 61 keys and um, this portable grand is not 88 keys, it's like 76 keys or something like that. So uh, anyway, well, then looks like portable keyboard is the one to go go for. Then actually, and then I found uh, there's not many nine up that they sell now. They don't have the model that I used to have. And, and I was looking for features and I found out that only one of the piano actually have the LED light. Uh, stop like this one the easy 200 and and then i was looking up uh, more review on on uh, youtube and found some review this this one is quite interesting and there was a, a kid reviewing it so he has this and and he got it from amazon and everything and have, have a box yep that this part is like what it's, he actually said that it come with this headphone and everything so I actually went and look look for this because um when I actually go to Amazon it actually doesn't say something like that oh by the way uh, I found this pretty cute video of this piano and I found out that like on the UK Amazon is um this as 169.99 but from Yamaha uh, the product review is like this long this is the feature page and um, there's nothing that's that uh, come with the headphone or the stand or anything and so it's quite weird but when I actually go find it in the American uh, site they actually have this the one that he actually mentioned is only $179.99 which is way, way cheaper and it come with the headphone and, and the stand and when you actually click into the product page my uh, yeah, it's actually dropped from my free set video 
9.88 to 179.99. You have this, all that, and you can connect the foot switches like my old Yamaha. Um, but the thing I don't quite like is all the LED light will light up in in pink, like on in the white area, versus mine is actually on top and a, a smaller light and different color. But this one is all pink color, which I don't quite like pink LED. Um, anyway. The product page here is surprisingly very different. They have a full product description right here, and everything. And they actually trying to sell sell it as like, oh, you can actually download thousands of uh, MIDI file and from the internet to this piano, and you can get MIDI file from the piano and send it over email. So I said, oh, that's quite interesting because um, I used to have um, thousands like two two three thousands of midi files of songs and some of them I even print them out as scores so I said hey it could be quite useful but uh, when I actually find out trying to find out what how it actually like connect um, to the computer I found out it's actually the same way as my old Yamaha which is through the midi port and you actually have to get your own uh, midi sequencer to uh, record and things which is um, normal it, it's not the same as um it's not nothing new really basically and this is actually from the uh the user menu and other things are pretty standard very similar to what i what i used to have and 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 the sound must be better and than than the usb one i got and the song has changed i have uh, some popular songs like uh some from elton song uh wait from yeah, from uh, Alicia Keys. I uh, even have my some of the songs I like Alicia Keys falling and uh, uh, like just the way you are, your song from um, Elton John and things like that. Like my old Yamaha didn't have stuff like this, and they have some um, computer software called Yes or something that you can um, I don't know what you can do with uh, with the computer. They're supposed to teach you how to learn songs and stuff like that. Um, so this is new and. Um, Yeah, and yeah, that's basically it. So I'm still struggling whether I should buy this one um, or if I can actually find my old Yamaha model. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, one last thing is, oh, basically, yeah. Um, yeah, basically the this one, USB one for it. This M audio actually was having a pretty good review on online for working with uh, GarageBand and Mac and everything but I actually tested that really the touch and the sound core like just not quite right and I don't you can play songs and things but I don't know just it doesn't feel right it's nothing you can really hear is when when you, when I touch it is definitely Weird. and and it's quite soft as well no matter what I do compared to um wheel piano as well it's way on the soft side I couldn't feel my womb and my womb is pretty small and because my womb is small this is quite quite ideal because it's small it's just connect directly to a display which I can put a score on it like any score and I don't have to have a physical score which is sounds pretty ideal but uh, it's just not good enough and, and it's quite cheap and small, I fit my small woman as well but still um, something yet to be still has to be improved um, but it's good like if you put a score here and then play your music but anyway I'm also going to show you um, before my memory runs out as um, some of the scores I have I used, I have this from a long time ago which I copied from a bigger book uh, just like all the anime from uh, Miyazaki Hayao and I make up the book myself <laughs> uh, in paper and, and my flute and uh, some score I print out for MIDI and some some that I wrote in paper some some in Japanese and some in Chinese um, they have a different scoring system with using numbers and some of the paper copy ones and mag score magazines and everything um, yeah what else oh yeah by the way yeah I got this uh, from a Singapore day there's a Singapore day in London uh, in 2009 that's it uh, that's the review for me